My name is Captain Chaston Whitfield. I love fishing so much that I want everyone to experience it regardless of their perceived limitations. So it's my mission in life to share the sport with people who have unique challenges. Keep going, keep going, keep going. High five. Good job. All right, let's do that again. Dude, you caught a grouper. And show them that fishing has no boundaries. So we are here at the Adventure Center at Plantation in Crystal River, and as you can see, I'm in a wetsuit, which means we're gonna be in some cold water. Manatees, once the Gulf of Mexico hits around like 68 degrees, then they move up into the springs, which is actually a little warmer, believe it or not. So the springs stay around 72, 73 degrees. So we're gonna be getting in some cold water. It's cold to us, but warm for the manatees. So I'm excited, and I'm excited to float around with some manatees and with Lucas. Oh, it's so warm. <laughs> no, okay, no, it's not. <laughs> I see <seen> Mantis. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> We have an incredible grass restoration project here, uh, Save Crystal River, and over the last few years we've dredged up, uh, I want to say it's over 30 acres in the bay. We've dredged it and cleaned it up. We had an invasive species that came in here and we had some problems with septic tanks and uh, lawn fertilizer and it kind of made our grass die off because the algae blooms. And they've planted about three to four acres of grass. We don't plant it in the whole acre, we plant it in these little circles. And then we put a 100 pound steel cage on it with spikes on the bottom, that's so the manatees don't eat the baby grasses. Then after about a year, it grows about seven foot deep roots. They pull that off and the grass spreads. And we, I'm guessing we over, have over two to 300 acres of grass from the original grass. There's places in this bay where I started where it was the same color as chocolate milk or hard chocolate, and now it is crystal clear and it's covered with grass on the bottom. So the grass is the key, but we had to give it a foothold by cleaning up. So we just got back from our manatee tour, and as you can see, now my boat's in the water, so we're gonna surprise Lucas and go fishing. He doesn't know yet, so now let's go surprise him. Hey. How are you? Good. Good, hi. Good to see you. You too. All right, so how was the manatee tour? Did you have fun? Yeah, fun. It was fun? Did you get to see a bunch? Yeah. You did? Yeah. So do you know what's happening now? I, I do not know. You don't know? Well, do you see my boat over there? Yeah. Remember fishing in that? Yeah. You wanna go fishing again? Yeah. You want to? Yeah. All right, give me a high five. Let's go do it. All right, so we are fishing this little point right here that comes out and has a sandbar. Yeah. 
yeah. And it looks like there's some oysters and stuff on it as well, which redfish love. Go, reel, 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 reel. Get him, get him. All right, I'm gonna let go and you got him, okay? This is all you, dude. Get him. All right, stop reeling right there. Gonna let him kick. He's not done yet. All right, we're gonna try to hit your mom with the fish. One, two, three. Boom. So how was fighting that? Was that fun? Yeah. Did and... he fight? Did he pull pretty hard? Yeah. He did. You wanna give him another kiss? Let him go. Uh, you do it. Okay. Mwah. And we'll let him go. Yeah. I first met Lucas probably eight months ago and we went fishing and I was filming it for my YouTube channel and he has a YouTube channel and I was doing my intro and he takes the camera and just starts doing his own intro. He has the best personality, uh, camera personality. He is not afraid to be himself and just having fun. Oh my goodness, Lucas, we got another one. All right, I'll help. You want to help me? All right, let me try and find where he is. Oh my goodness, his tail's so pretty. All right, oh my goodness, he's pulling so hard. I need help. I need help. I need help. Help me, help me, help me. Reel, reel, reel. You got to reel in. Three. Snap. So now we're going to flip him in. Ready? Help me. One, two, three. Oh, oh snap. He wanted to say hi to you. He wanted to land in your lap. Hi. They're getting bigger and bigger. This one's bigger than the last ones we caught. They are so pretty here. And they're so soft. Right? So in Crystal River, the water is crystal clear. It's just like in the name. And since the water's so clear, see how bright and white he looks? He's almost pink. He's not even red from the pretty water. So John, you are the director of Discover Crystal River here. Yes, so our office is charged with promoting all the great amenities in Citrus County. And so it really is a fun job, honestly. I get to do I get to do lots of cool things. We get to be tourists in our backyard and, and showcase things to the world, essentially, of why this part of Florida is someplace that they need to visit because it is not the beach and it's not the mouse. It is it is Florida, you know, it, and that's something that is easily forgotten. The fishery here is just amazing, and it's gorgeous, and it's so healthy. Yes, well, the, you know, the Save Crystal River has done a, a fabulous job of replanting the eelgrass, which is in turn for the manatees, and it's also helped with the water quality, it, and that program has gone better than anybody, even they could have imagined. So yeah, we're, we're very blessed right now that, uh, that everything is coming together. So red tide yeah. last year was pretty hard. How did you guys handle it so, or well, was it even here? Well, luckily, you know, that is a big factor and we were on all the calls during the state. We are lucky and one of the contributing factors has to be the amount of fresh water that's pushed out by these high magnitude springs to help keep that at bay because it seems to end you know, just south of us, it seems to be where it is. And so the uh, other factor is that you can keep more fish here than in some of the areas that are still under oh, yeah. some of the restrictions. So uh, we saw a huge influx of, of anglers from, you know, certainly Tampa Bay is one of our big areas because they were really having some trouble. We did see that factor because luckily we, we just don't have the same issue. And it seems to be all the way through the other end of the Big Bend, where there's a lot of these natural springs pushing water out, they don't seem to have the same issues until it gets warmer again, more like where there's beaches. So yeah, we're lucky, and, and I think that has contributed to some of the success that we've had in, the, it, yeah. in terms of visitors coming to the area. Oh my goodness, Lucas, 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 I need help! Can you help me? Can you get it? Can you get it? I'll hold the rod and you crank, okay? Go, 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 crank. Oh, he's a, oh, he's got pretty spots. Stop right there, stop right there. Look at the two spots. All right, get him in the boat. Flip. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's got two spots on this side. Oh, that's so pretty. And this side, right? Can we give him a kiss? All right on the spot. Perfect. Tell your mommy we're here. Thank you. My dad, he is the most handsome dad I've ever seen. And my mom, 
She used to be with my mom at every scene. My sister, Hannah Kiefer, she has diabetes when she was 11 years old. She is a beautiful sister. In my condition, I have like bad anxiety and because I was like twirling and stuff. Since I know how to dance, it's part of my Down syndrome, that's what I do. And I have ADHD because I'm creative and I got mesomesal chromosomes. Well, my most part of it today is, it's about hanging out with my family. Next up on Their Life, My Lens, Lucas gets his groove on and his father explains why Crystal River is a universal experience. Here at Crystal River have been your help on this one. I, I do it. Can you help me? Yes. Yeah, sure. It's too big. I can't do it. You're stronger than me. Go. Real, real, real. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on. Come on. Don't let him beat you. You're really going to let this fish beat you like that. Huh? Come on. Go. Real, real, real. Pull up. Reel down. Ready? We're going to flip him in. One, two, three. Three. Oh, let me get him. Perfect. Yes, I caught it. Look at that. All right, let me see the rod and you take the fish, okay? Look at that. We just caught another fish. What kind of fish? Is let, let me count his size. Like, oh, like. That big? Yeah, that big. He's this big? Yeah. He's this big. And do you know what kind of fish it is? Yeah. What kind? It's a redfish. Good job. Do you know why they're called redfish? Yeah. Why? It's because they're like one of these. They're red? Yeah. Look, his tail's actually turning blue. Yeah, that's As what, we speak. That's what fishes do. I'm gonna feel, see how blue his tail is? Boop! Oh! He smacked you when he said poop. He hit you with his tail. Thank so you. this is why we come to Crystal River. It's for fish like this. They are so pretty. And there's so many of them. I chose Crystal River to bring Lucas and his family here because it is just such a relaxing place. The Fishery and wildlife here is incredible. They have uh, wildlife refuges that protect animals, like the manatees and the birds here. We saw two bald eagles a couple months ago, and the fishery is just so healthy. Like back at home, I probably haven't seen a redfish in a couple months, and then today we're catching them like this. And it's so good to see the fishery up and being okay. One of the things we noticed about the facilities that we've visited here at Crystal River have been, there's been no wonder as to whether or not anybody can join. There's ramps, uh, there's accessibility other ways. Uh, I've, I saw boats that have abilities for people to, uh, to be rolled onto if, if need be. My total experience being here in Crystal River, I, it, this place is so much fun. I absolutely love it. We come here every summer. It is relaxing and there's something to do like every day. You can do something different. You can go bass fishing on Monday, saltwater fishing inshore on Tuesday. Wednesday you can go offshore, you can go scalloping, you can go swim with manatees, you can golf here, you can do anything you want. We were lucky enough to go to a restaurant uh, locally here and uh, they were gracious enough to let Luke build his own pizza. Uh, it's a wood-fired oven uh, pizza place that you'd never expect, but it was delicious. Uh, and they were able to let him make a huge pizza and bring it home, and I think it's already gone. So I totally see why they say step into awesome when you come to Crystal River. Oh, this is a, oh, this is a nice one. Oh, oh really? this is an angry one. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. He's not mad. He's Look at him doing that head shake. This one's a little bit bigger. All right, I'm gonna flip him in the boat and you're gonna catch him. 
I got it. You wanna help me? All right, one more crank, and then one, two, three, flip. Boom. Perfect. All right, let go of the rod. Oh my goodness. What a pretty fish. Yeah, what a pretty fish. Wow, the fish here are so pretty. Crystal River has the most beautiful fish. This is a Crystal River redfish. Try saying that five times fast. The keepers take the limits off and the captain shares a crystal clear perspective. We were expecting, um, you know, a, a typical uh, delivery and Here's a bigger fish. Here's a bigger fish. Oh my goodness, he's so pretty. He's got a blue tail. Oh, under the boat. Oh my goodness. Ready? One, two, three. A little baby redfish. Oh my goodness, look at how pretty. Do not look at me, fish. Do not. No. You want to give him a kiss? No, you're weird. Look, but look at the tail. See his tail? Yes. See how blue that is? Do you know why the tail's blue? Yeah, that's why I was born with it. Why is the tail blue? Because it was born with it. No, so they actually eat blue crabs, and that's yeah. what turns the end of the tail blue. Yeah. Okay, he's got one spot over there, and oh, one yeah. spot over put here. Him, him on. Let him go. You, you want to give him a kiss? No. I'm Look, good. I do it. Mwah. Can I throw him in? It's good chapstick. We were expecting, um, you know, a, a typical. Uh, delivery and uh, the doctor came in and just basically said we think your son has Down syndrome and turned on his heel and walked out of the room and that was it and so my wife called me and then we uh, I came to the hospital and we sat down together and and talked about it and took it from there. There has been challenges that we expected and challenges that we didn't expect and what we found out was that was just like any other parent. Being Lucas's dad, there's no prouder position to be in. You know, I get to see what some people would look at as uh, a deficit or really a disability, and it's not. It's um, what we've found is that the limitations that are put on Luke are being put on Luke by people who don't have any business putting limitations on him. He's capable, he's more capable than most people give him credit for. So we spend a lot of time standing back and letting him figure it out. And he has questions and when he has questions we answer them. When I met Luke eight months ago, it didn't take long to see that his personality was larger than life. We both have YouTube channels, and while recording the intro for my YouTube channel, he just grabbed the camera and began saying his own intro. He is not afraid to be himself and loves to have fun. So when I thought about a destination to spend time with Luke and his family, I knew Crystal River was the place where Luke's personality would shine through. I absolutely love Crystal River. Our family actually goes every summer and I don't know of another great family tradition. It's so relaxing and beautiful, and you'll never get bored because there's something different to do every day. Monday, you can go bass fishing, and then Tuesday, you can go saltwater fishing, then you can go golfing, and then Wednesday, you can swim with the manatees and have a chill, relaxed day. And if you think about it, there's no other place in the country where you can legally swim with manatees. So maybe you're a first time traveler, compassionate about conservation, looking for family fun, or just something in between. Perhaps you're the type who likes to plan each day, or you might be the type that just goes with the flow. Whatever your personality type is, Crystal River has something for you. And it's not too early to start planning. So from my lens, your next gratifying getaway is waiting for you at Crystal River. Peace out.